is a pioneer in sports medicine and in keeping, or trying to keep, all of us healthier. Dr. Kenneth Cooper, founder of the famed Cooper Fitness Center, being honored tonight by the National Football Foundation. So you made your name working uh, with professional athletes, of course. That's but exactly you're trying to reach out to the rest of us. Well, I started with the athletes initially. In fact, I'm sorry to say this, but in 1966, I worked with the Green Bay Packers <laughs> and tried to help them improve their athletic performance even before my first book came out in 1968. We love you anyway. Okay. 1970, I started working with the Cowboys with Tom Landry and all. Right. But what we tried to prove to these football players is you need aerobic conditioning, not just sprinting conditioning, to be able to play a full game. We also pointed out that we get these athletes uh, conditioned, several things can occur. Number one, it reduces the frequency of injuries, mm -hmm. delays the onset of fatigue. You play better in the second half of the game, and better games like games of the season. I proved that back in 1970 when I worked with Brazilian World Cup soccer team, mm -hmm. and it quote-unquote helped them win the World Cup championship in Mexico City. But, but that's great for them. They're professional athletes. You're trying to reach down to the rest of us, which is just amazing. Are your fellow physicians, do you think, doing enough? Should my doctor, who I love, when I see him once a year for a physical, should he be grabbing me by the shoulders and saying, you're gonna drop dead, you are fat? Exactly. Article was published December the 6th in Wall Street Journal. Headlines, position up there with the stethoscope and says go out and take a jog. And they're trying to make a level of fitness that's measured by the physician as the most important vital factor. Mm -hmm. Your high blood pressure, your cholesterol, cigarette smoking, the single most vital factor that a physician can, if he could do that, would be to measure your fitness as we've done for some 45 years in Dallas. So really to put me on the treadmill and say, holy smokes, look how out of shape you are, not just to say, well, you got a little roll around the sides there, Tim. No, exactly right. You can be fit and fat or you can be uh, lean and be unfit. Mm -hmm. So you don't just look at, at obesity by itself, you look at your performance. But we found, we qualify, classify our patients in five categories of fitness based on the time of the treadmill, age and sex adjusted. We've done 200,000 stress tests now here in Dallas. They're very poor, poor, fair, good, excellent, superior. One simple thing that we found in a big study, 20,000 people followed for some uh, 25 years, 50, they're evaluated, and 25 years later in that top category of fitness, they were 38% less likely to have Alzheimer's. Right, That's right. That's a big thing, Alzheimer's, dementia. And so the fitness is one of the best things you can do to prevent dementia or Alzheimer's you get older. Right, uh, and you're 83, you, you quit running, but you still walk, and that is a fascinating predictor. This has been shown over and over again that if at 83, 80-ish, 80 you can get up and you can still walk at a brisk pace, that you, I mean, your odds of living to 90 it's and amazing. being in pretty good shape? The study has clearly showed that if you're 80 years of age and can walk at 3.5 miles per hour, there's a 17 minute mile, there's an 84% chance you'll age 90, 86% chance if you're a woman. And that's the best predictive longevity we have in medicine. So get up, keep moving, and take in fewer calories in my, take in less, put out a little bit more. And take them one at a time. Yeah. Don't try to combine everything and take care of them the first two weeks. Concentrate on your exercise first. Okay, will do. Okay, okay. <laughs> and he does it without nagging, which is what we love about Dr. Cooper. Find a link to uh, Cooper Aerobics and the National Football Foundation honoring him on fox4news.com. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. And to you, thank you.